everybody, this is Jerry from VetTech Bytes, and today we are going to be going over unit conversions. And when I say unit conversions, what I mean is taking a number from kilograms all the way down to micrograms, or anywhere in between. Um, I'm also going to be going over pounds to kilograms. I'm also going to be taking percent solutions and turning them into a mix per mil concentration, which makes it easier to use. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start with kigs to pounds, or pounds to kigs, whichever you prefer. So one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds, right? Um, so what that means for us is that whenever we have kilograms, so let's take 34 kilograms, uh, we need to multiply that by 2.2. A good way to remember this is a kilogram is smaller than a pound. So when you're going from kicks to pounds, you have to multiply. But when you're going from pounds to kicks, you have to divide because kilograms are smaller than pounds. So by the same logic, say 54 pounds divided by 2.2, because we're getting kicks, which is a smaller number, it will equal 24.5 kicks. And that's all that is. Super simple. All right, next up, we're gonna talk about grams. Um, kilograms, grams, milligrams, micrograms, when to divide, multiply, we're gonna go over it. So when I'm thinking about these problems, I make a line in my head. I always have this line as a quick reference or just memorize it. Uh, on this end, we have kilograms. On this end, we have micrograms. And then we also have grams and milligrams, right? So we know that the larger the unit we're getting, the smaller the number that we get. So that means that we need to divide when we're going this way on this line. But the smaller the unit of measurement that you're getting, the larger your number is going to be. So going this way, we have to multiply. For example, let's say we have one gram. One gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. Just like one milligram equals 1,000 micrograms, because you're going right on our line toward micrograms. The smaller the unit, the larger the number. The, small, or the larger the unit, the smaller the number. For instance, one gram is equal to 0 0.001 kilograms. Because we're taking that number, bringing it higher on the list, the smaller the number is actually going to get just like one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams, right? Make sense? Not too bad. So if we were gonna take a problem and use it in clinic, uh, let's say we need 34 micrograms of medication. And let's say the concentration of our medication is 10 migs per mil. Well, how do we get from micrograms to milligrams? We have to divide it because we're going to be going left on our line. So let's take 34 micrograms, divide that by 1,000 so we can get to milligrams. You can really just take the decimal place and move it three places. So you're going to get 0 0.034 milligrams. And now you just have to divide that by your concentration to get your mils. And that's it when it comes to micrograms. It's really, it's not that challenging. All you have to do is divide by a thousand whenever you're going left on the list and multiply by a thousand whenever you're going right on the list. That's it. All right, so let's take lidocaine. Lidocaine, which is a 2% solution, right? So whenever we're thinking about percentages, percent, equals grams over 100 mils. Um, that's just how it works, percent per 100, right? So we know we have a 2% solution, so 2% equals 2 grams over 100 mils, right? But remember, we want a mix per mil solution, not a grams per mil solution. So we're gonna take our grams using what we just learned, and we're gonna turn that into milligrams. And in order to do that, we need to multiply by a thousand. So two times 1,000 equals 2,000 milligrams over 100 
mils. You cross out the zeros and you have a 20 mig per mil solution. That's it. 2%, 20 mg per mil. A nice little cheater way to remember this is anytime we have a percent, just move the decimal place one place to the right, and that'll equal your mix per mil. Every time. And that's it. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video on unit conversions. I had a lot of fun. Um, I always kind of like these things. Um, it's, a, it's a nice thing to just practice every so often. I swear, you just keep that line in your head. Kilograms, micrograms, multiply, divide. That's it. I swear. Um, and I really do. I keep this right in the back of my head. Every time I'm going from milligrams to micrograms, it's always right here. Um, I recommend you write it down in a quick reference. Um, put it at your desk, something like that. Uh, so that way you never really have to worry about it. So um, I hope you enjoyed today's video and please leave a like, comment, and maybe even consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos because I'm going to try to come out with at least one video a week um, so we can uh, try to do more veterinary related content, more learning, expand ourselves, raise our standard of care, and at the end of the day, just be better than we were yesterday. My name is Jerry with Vet Tech Bites. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.